Before starting the installation, turn off the incoming power to the fan disconnect at the electrical panel, then lock out and tag the breaker. Turn off the fan disconnect switch and flip up the disconnect arm. Remove the motor cover by removing the six wing bolts. Next, on the disconnect box, loosen the four screws and remove the cover. Disconnect the wiring from both sides of the disconnect switch and remove it from the disconnect box. Loosen the four remaining screws and remove the entire disconnect switch from the metal bracket. Place the retro plate on the left motor plate and butt the edge of the flange on the retro plate up to the end plate and mark the holes. Drill out four quarter inch holes. The bottom right hole may line up with a rivet for the motor support plate, so this rivet will need to be drilled out. Next, remove the cover of the disconnect box and take out the bag of provided hardware. Use the indents on the top of the disconnect box to line up and drill out two 7 8 inch holes. Using the provided 1032 hardware, attach the disconnect to the left motor side plate using the four quarter inch holes you previously drilled. Make sure that the on label is oriented to the top left of the disconnect. Hold the disconnect safety bracket in location on the fan scroll plate and scroll top. Mark a hole on the scroll plate and install one self-drilling screw. Lift the power pack to make sure the safety bracket turns the disconnect off when the power pack is raised. Also, be sure there is enough clearance between the disconnect safety bracket and the disconnect to remove the disconnect box cover. Mark the switch bracket location on the top of the fan scroll. It's okay for the bracket to sit on top of the existing brackets or rivets. Remove the bracket and drill at least one quarter inch hole through the top of the scroll. Be careful not to drill through any existing rivets or interior fan brackets. Thoroughly clean the scroll top then generously apply silicone in the newly drilled holes and on the bottom of the bracket. Install the two remaining self-drilling screws into the scroll plate and a quarter twenty bolt to hold the bracket onto the top of the scroll plate. There must be a total of three self-drilling screws in the scroll plate. Be sure to adequately tighten the quarter twenty bolt from inside the scroll. After closing the power pack, remove the cover of the disconnect box. Run the wiring from the motor to the bottom hole of the disconnect box. The electrical connectors must be straight in type. Elbow connectors will not work for the retrofit. For direct drive motors, the wiring can go through the hole in the motor side plate using a 7 8 inch plastic snap bushing. For belt drive motors, the wiring can go directly from the motor to the disconnect box's bottom hole. Connect the wires from the motor into the disconnect, then run the incoming power wiring through the top hole of the disconnect box. Connect the wiring to the disconnect switch and reattach the disconnect box cover.
The incoming power wiring must be flexible with watertight conduit and connectors. Install the new motor cover containing the cutout for the disconnect and tighten the six wing bolts. With the breaker off and the entire fan assembled, lift the power pack to make sure the switch bracket properly turns the disconnect to the off position. Finally, make sure the disconnect is turned to the off position. When ready, turn on the breaker at the electrical panel, then turn the power on at the fan and check for proper fan rotation. If the wheel is running backwards, turn off the power and switch any two leads. This completes the installation.